Salutations South Africa, my name is Lisa Grayson and it's the 15th of March 2021. We unwrap this Monday morning in a new week with a top story from Julius Malema. This podcast is kindly sponsored by Bluegrass Digital. Bluegrass Digital, a leader in building digital solutions for your business in Africa. Find out more at bluegrassdigital.com. The EFF leader has given a fiery address on Sunday evening after visiting the family of Mstokozisi in Tumba. The Johannesburg local was shot dead on Wednesday as police conducted a heavy-handed response to the witch protests. Students involved in the demonstrations were also injured by rubber bullets, prompting the EFF to make a major call against them. The Red Bearers, furious with the brutal treatment faced by the youngsters this week, have also been hypercritical of Becky Sele. South Africa's serving police minister has been accused of lying to the Ntumba family after allegedly backing away from a promise to help the family organize a funeral. In other news, South Africa's Chief Justice, Mogong Mogong, has indicated his intention to appeal a decision by the Judicial Conduct Committee, JCC, which ruled that the country's most senior judicial figure must apologize for pro-Israel comments he made back in 2020. The Chief Justice was given 10 days to apologize for his comments, but has instead decided to challenge the ruling. In a statement issued by the Secretariat of the JCC on Sunday, 14th March, the committee confirmed that Mogong intends to challenge the decision. Meanwhile, Amazulu Prime Minister Prince Mangosuthu Uthulezi has confirmed that the late King Goodwill Zwelithini, who passed away earlier this week, will be laid to rest in a private ceremony to be held at night with only men in attendance. Uthulezi said that given how the king's death reportedly came as a result of COVID-19, Difficult decisions had to be made regarding his burial. In your sports today, Brighton improved their hopes of avoiding relegation from the Premier League with a vital 2-1 win against Southampton on Sunday. Graham Porter's side moved three points clear of third-bottom Fulham with a game in hand after frenetic South Coast Derby at St. Mary's. It was Brighton's first win in eight games in all competitions since they beat Tottenham in January. Meanwhile, Gavin Hunt has named an 18-man squad for their next CAF Champions League clash against Angolan side Petro de Luanda. The match will take place on Tuesday, the 16th of March, kicking off at 1800 SA time. In your weather today, Bloemfontein is a sunny 29 degrees, Cape Town is 20 with a chance of rain, Pretoria is 27 degrees and Johannesburg you can expect at 24. That's all the news you really need to know. Subscribe for more of these and other audio papers straight to your mobile device every morning. For more of these and other stories, please visit thesouthafrican.com. My name is Lisa Grayson. This podcast is kindly sponsored by Bluegrass Digital. Bluegrass Digital, a leader in building digital solutions for your business in Africa. Find out more at bluegrassdigital.com.